Welcome, FNUS57 here. I am on a new game today, pretty stoked about playing it. Sword Art Online, Fatal Bullet. And uh, I am playing on the Xbox One. So initially I did not believe we were going to get this game on the Xbox, but we did. And this will be my first impressions and gameplay video for it. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, I'm hoping that this is going to be excellent because of the fact that I was a pretty big fan of the actual anime series. So let's see what happens. Alright, I tried to skip through a little bit quickly on character creation. It is pretty massive as far as the customizations that you can do. Uh, we're playing a male character because, and uh, 
Gonna see how the initial gameplay is. I may have to muck with screen boundaries and controls just a little bit. イベント あんたの雰囲気昔と全く変わらないんだものどんな雰囲気かってうーん人付き合いが面倒くさいとか言っている割には人やしな感じかな突然呼び出したのに初めての<笑> そういえば、GGOどころかVRMMOは初めてなんでしょ私がいろいろと教えてあげるね。数年前に完全な仮想現実が実現したのは知ってるわよね。一人の若き天才、カヤバーキヒコが生み出した夢の死。そしてVRM
GGO にログインしたのは今日が初めてだから初日から大会に参加するなんて冒険好きだねはじめまして僕は五木銃の戦いはで面白い戦いを期待している五木さんはすごいけど私だってもう少しでトップ入りの腕前の準備はいい ?OK ならそこの転送ゲートに入っ Alright, well, we only have basic equipment.、Um, tutorial is going to be a touch longer than I would possibly like. But that's okay. Okay. Same basic controls as、uh, most MMOs. Still haven't run into anything to shoot yet, so. Ah, there we go. Two weapons, alright. I would advise anyone who's just starting out, they might want to mess with the sensitivity just a bit. You have to be like literally right on top of the box to actually do anything with it. Alright. I would have liked to see、um, a mechanic that you could have actually stood away from the box a little bit. GGO の特徴的なシステムの一つにバレットラインっていうものがあるんだけどこれは実際に見てもらった方がいいかもエネミーと戦って実際に体験してみてこの調子よすごいすごい終わりだそうでしょやっ It's not bad, I mean, running into the box and hitting it, it's pretty easy. Treasure chests, why not? Everybody loves treasure. Okay, so,、uh, yeah, fall damage. Easy I didn't realize this was not going to give me the option to switch language. Should have made a female character for the fun of it. t 
ダンジョン内にはいろんなギミックやトラップがよく注意して行動した方がいいわよ私が教えられるのはこれくらいかなうん GGO の基本的な戦闘は大体分かったでしょあとは実践でさこれからはあちこち探索してレアアイテムをあれ君たちは隙を見て逃げるわよ五木さんの仲間なら相当手だれのはずこちらが振りすぎるわうーんもしかして逃げる相談をしてる正しい判断だとは思うけどセナクレハ君はともかくニュービーの君は一発で死ぬんじゃないかなと言いたいところだけど君たちも警戒が足りないよどうせなら実に退屈極まりないだから見逃すとでも言うんですかまさかここは GGO でそうだもん僕に殺されるのとあっちのエネミーに殺されるのこの奥に少し面倒くさそうなエネミーが配置されているもしかしてだけどあれを倒さないと先に進めなさそうなんだもちろん倒してくれたらお礼に見逃してどうする悔しいけど今の私たちじゃ五木さんには勝てないわいいね分かったわエネミーを倒した後は分かってる僕は I might have to、uh, make a second character anyways just for some of the achievements so Not gonna worry too much about it. We'll have a, another cool character there. <laughs> hmm? Come on, let me go fight the thing. And that's a difficult enemy? <laughs> Not. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, to, to, to which way to go? Ah,、eh, we'll go this way. Yes, level up. Hell yeah, level two <laughs> for the tutorial. I'll take it. さっきはなんとかうまくいってよかったわ。五木さんは人気者だけど、やっぱり G.G.O.のプレイヤーね。みんな戦闘となると容赦ないから気をつけないと。ほら、見て。お、え、お、おっとっと。大体こういう装置を
プレイヤー認証マスター登録開始ユーザー名登録完了Oh, we made a male character before. I'm not sure why it's having me re make the character. I don't quite like having to redo it. That's going to be one minor nuisance. Um. Only thing I want to do is just change the color.、Uh, gotta change everything back to black how I wanted it in the first place. That's a marginally annoying setting. And find my dragon decal that I had. Forgot which one it was. There we go. Oh, that's not my character again, actually. It is a, a companion. How do I go back and change that? No, I don't want to proceed, but I can't change the name. Oh, I should have made that a female companion. That's annoying. Oh well. I guess I'm gonna have a clone running around. That's gonna be a mildly bit creepy, just to say the least. Yeah, marginally creepy. I might、uh, scrap this character and start a new character for like my actual playthrough on Twitch. This is just kind of to get used to the game. Yeah, that's really creepy having a clone. Oh, that's insanely creepy. <laughs> I don't think this game バーサクヒーラーとかキリトくんもう余計なことまで言わないで<笑>悪い悪い仲間のアスナだ、はあ、名前はランキングで何度も見ているわこんな有名人まで狙っていたなんてアファシス私があなたのマスターよ私はアファシステムタイプ XA290 00この人が私のマスターです
現在メインシステムを 50% まで起動中。やっぱりなだから倒しても無駄だと思ったんだよく分かったねキリト君アバシスはマスターと呼んでいたからさそれにいやんちょっとなんで勝手にマスター登録しちゃったのよあんたのものは私のものでしょ<笑>言い訳したって無駄だ、oh, God. よし、well, あんたのものは私のものは Interesting. Antonio,そっちね、僕かけてくれはマスターの上位者。認識しました。よろしくお願いします。じゃあ、俺たちはこれで。まだ時間は残っているし。せっかくだから、優勝くらいはしとかないとな。商品も豪華らしいよ、キ
Alright, that's just a multi tool. And that should be the end of the tutorial, I would think. Again, I may have to mess with the screen boundaries because for some reason it's just a little bit too wide. It's weird. Alright, so now that I know what I'm getting myself into, next time I won't make my creepy clone. なるほど。Not gonna lie, even though I've gone through a lot of loading screens and a lot of tutorial, so far, I'm liking this game a lot. ありがとう。だけど、初めまして皆さん。私はアファシステム。タイプ<笑> Yeah, my playthrough on Twitch, I'm going to keep my character the same. The only thing I'm going to change is the uh, ally, or whatever you call that AI robot thing. ニュービーがアファシス。情報屋のアルゴさんも。え、それはいいこと聞いて。タイプ<笑> <laughs> and everybody wants to buy that weapon that we got. 
That was an interesting way that they coded it. あの、もしよかったらお友達になりませんか先生、私たちグロッケンにホームを借りみんなでお茶したりおしゃべりし歓迎するわありがとうすごく嬉しい最近は結構増えたけど男の人ばかりのスコードロンも多いみたいですそう
Getting a little bit into the combat system. Okay, so it's just the... Um, while in combat, you can press down on a D-pad to switch gadgets and everything. Alright. So RB functions as a secondary menu then. Well, so far everything's been uh, explained well. Uh, that's all done. I would like to get into a mission, though. And I don't have anything to sell. Uh, let's see. Prioritize attacking. Okay, combat style. Yeah, prioritize reviving. Alright, I think we can leave. Alright, maybe we'll actually get a combat quest? Yeah, because I can't go through there, so I think uh, we get our first combat quest now. I gotta play farther into the game and see about the weapons, but initially I'm thinking kind of be partial to handguns. I've already figured out the quest markers. Let me, uh, give me something to actually kill. Thank you. Oh,あんたの連れているそれってアファシス。私はタイプ確実な情報。ちょっといいですか。その合わせ数タイプ<笑><笑><笑> Too bad I can't actually get real yen, so nope, I'm keeping my AI. Shop 
It's the only thing I don't like is stopping like every five seconds for a tutorial. レア Oh yeah, that's definitely true. Don't trade with uh, other players. Trading with other players is um, risky in any MMO. Been there, done that. Alright, can I get a weapon or is it no, it's just gonna tell me to leave. Okay. Yeah. どうしてNPCのアファシスを助けようとしたんだい もしよかったら理由を教えてくれないかな。え、彼も僕と同じところに興味、それで君はなんて答えたんだい？君は理屈失礼。大した知り合いでもない君はいい人だ。マスター、ここにいたんですね。おっと、よし。はい、this is going to be one of those games that um. It's a little bit slower paced, at least with the tutorial. Kind of like it. I wish I could um, skip this particular step, though. Uh, it does take a minute for the menu to load, though. That's really weird. I can't wait to get into the actual combat quests and the online play and everything. That's why I'm, uh... Speeding through this part a little bit. Yeah. この前の打ち上げでは、ろくに紹介もできなかったから。はいはい。私から行きます。私はリズベット。<笑> I do like the uh, characters that they brought back, which is really cool. 
プレイヤーは妖精になって自由に空を飛べるんだもちピーバさんの気持ちわかります今までは剣や魔法がメインだったからあ、私はシリカと言いますピノちゃんってもしかして新規実装されたペットじゃないのあ、ピナは私と一緒にコンバートしてきた子なんです確かに珍しい子なんですけどでもいくらレアとは言ってもシリカみたいにペットと一緒に行動ペットは戦闘に参加するわけじゃないし GGO だと戦闘にコストをかけたいってプレイヤーの方が多くてわかるぜリアルマネーが関わってくるとコストについてもシビアの俺もこの銃弾で昼飯代だなとかついつい計算しちゃう<笑> Maybe I can skip lunch so I can buy this ammo <笑> Oh, okay, that's a、um, statement that I can agree with. Hmm, burger, box of bullets. Take the box of bullets. Pina, I'm going to get my own 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 特技は狙撃かなよろしくシナナンの狙撃の腕前はトップクラスよ3000メートルあありえないはいこれはプレイヤースキルで補正しないと不可能に近い行為ですあかわいいこんな小さいアバターあるんだ150センチくらいの女性型アバターこんにちはユイですこの前パパとママと戦ったことパパああユイは俺とアスナの子供なんだこらあまりリアルのことを聞いちゃマナー違反だよ一応言っておくけどまだおじさんと呼ばれる年ではないよ絶対に<笑>ねえキリトくんそうだな実はザスカ It is really cool the way that they、uh, implemented everything here, introducing everybody. Even for players who weren't familiar with the actual、uh, anime. So that's pretty nice. Those of us a little bit more familiar with the anime could simply recognize the characters based upon their look and、uh, voice pattern, but. GGO にも結婚システムがあればいいのにまあそういうタイプのゲームではないようなおいそろそろおいや、yeah. I agree with Kirito It's not that type of game Let's go Give me something to shoot こっちのナイスミッション UFG について俺も近いうちに手に入れ Sadly it's like an hour spent in this このメンバーの要 GGO 女性プレイヤーのちなみに絶賛 It's supposed to be open world from what I've heard I didn't look up any videos or anything on the game. So, only what was in the、uh, actual anime episodes is what I'm familiar with. That was definitely a lecture. I just want quest number one, like first dungeon mission or something. Oh, I'm sorry. この総督府ではクエストの受注ができるクエストオーダーターミナルや今まで受付は、right. Here we go. クエストが入ったおかげで使用の確認はしやすくなるじゃあまずはあそこにある受付では
共闘クエストを受けることができるんだパーティーを組んで強敵と戦うクエストなんかがあるな<笑>そんなに緊張するなって俺でよければあっちのターミナルではクエストの受注もできるし俺は貢献使いだからあまり困ったことはないけど玉切れには気をつけろあのアファシスに話しかけると自分の賞金ランキングを教えて探索フィールドに出てバトルをすると成果に応じて賞金がもらえるんだ賞金は SBC 賞金ランキングを上げる積極的に普通に話しかければ<笑>バウニーズナイス、nice. 総督府の基本的な機能はこんなところかなもうちょいろいろ質問をしてくれればはい、We've got the online PVP, the online PVE, and apparently we have a many quests in this specific area. That's not marginally annoying. All right, medals get traded in for items. Perfect. Okay, so that's the PvP quest. That makes sense now. Uh, we might get a party quest soon, hopefully. Uh, last quest for this area. Alright, is this guy arguing with the robot? Alright, アファシスについてアファシスの正式名称はアファはアーティフィシャルファイナンシャルアドバイザーの貸し直訳するとプレイヤーの財産やアイテム管理を補助する AI って受付のお姉さんに500回聞いたから完璧に覚えたぜもう500回も挑戦してたの<笑> Oh god this guy's Wow 500 times ですからまあ一般にはそういうアファシスが必須のクエスト機能限定型で機能限定型だからいや俺は信じてるぜ千回目の奇跡をんなんだでも失礼な私だってはい Wait, we still have to go through another spot? 
Wow, that's marginally salty. I mean, I expected the tutorial to be a little bit longer, but I wasn't expecting like an hour worth of that. あ、プレミアじゃないか。こんにちは。初めまして。キリト。仲間とは親友や本妻。あ、待て待て、プレミア。頼むからそんな目で見ないでくれ。この子はな、AI なんだよ。俺、ゆいをプレイヤーとして<笑> 今日は何をしお散歩していました。オリジンとは違った雰囲気、もっと外にも出てみたいです。パーティーを組む際は呼んでください。はい。私もぜひ。オッケー。Okay. Oh, can't jump off the edge. That would be too easy. I'm not 100% sure if this is even the right direction to go. Because I don't really have much of an indicator. We'll see, though. If I don't get to the first combat quest within a few more minutes, though, uh, I might just make an episode two. Oh, never mind. There's the quest marker. Uh, it's above me, though. Okay. Or not. Well, that's just... maddeningly unhelpful. At least the quest marker disappears or kind of fades out if you're not on the right level of it. There we go. Found it. つまり売る気はあまりないってことさ。驚いてその前にブロ。いいお得意さんになって初心者なのおかげで君の情報は見えてもお姉さんはじゃあこれ。<笑> All right, so infiltrating that quest is done. And we're going to go back to the shop. Which should hopefully complete this quest. Nope, that's not the right NPC. あれ君たち今日はいつきさん。いや、くれはく。ありがとうございます。調子はどう? 
お目当てはこんにちはどうもどいつきはお目が高いですまだまだヘナチョコです<笑>それともでいつきさんそうだった前からの約束わかったわかった<笑>こ That can be the only problem with games like this. I don't mind the tutorial being a little longer, the story being a little longer, but I'm pretty sure a lot of players would. This is a unusual amount of time to be spending. At least there's a fast travel station pretty much right here, and then... You can fast travel to the different sections as far as where you need to go, but you get a loading screen in between each one, thereby increasing the amount of time that you're actually in the tutorial, and we haven't even done a single combat mission yet. SBC Fugel got Kaiho Saratara. What does the Sony Koryak Shinaika? So, ne. リリースの情報によれば初心者には難しいと思うわまずはレベル上げしないとあと確か SBC フリューゲルのクエストってアファシスが必須になるアファシスが行けば役に立つかもしれないけどでも攻略に必要なアファシスならレンタルできるようになったし残念だけどレベルが上がるまでキリトさんたちを待たせるのは悪いからクレハさんだって十分強いじゃない一番乗りを狙わなくていいのそれもしたいけど私は付き合い長いから GGO に呼んだのも私だしねしばらくは特別にあんたのおもりをしてあげるからガンガン経験値と資金を稼ぐ<笑>いいコンビなのそそういうんじゃないわよ誘ったからには私が面倒を見てあげないとダメだから二人の邪魔をしたいわけではないけど。一緒に攻略したいというのはキリトだけじゃないぶっちゃけ俺たちそんなにレベルは高くないんだまさかあんなにランキングに乗っているのに対人戦はプレイヤースキルで賄えるところもあるしねあまり効率を重視しないで楽しんでいたから多分クレハとあまり変わらないんじゃないだから SBC フリューゲルちなみに下心もなくはないタイプ X の方が有利な仕掛けがあるかもしれない隠しイベントとかあるかもしれんそれにせっかくお友達になれたんですからこういう大きなイベントはさみんなでやったよーしこれで決まりね武器やアイテムの準備も忘れないでねメンテナンスは私に任せてアファシスも新フィールドもわからないことだらけかなんかワクワクしてきたねファイトですまっはいWe have, I'm thinking, the conclusion of the tutorial. So we have to go earn some XP, kill some monsters, hopefully get some better weapons. I don't have a quest. Okay, we can watch movies. That's. I press B to exit the menu. What the heck? Why am I getting a loading screen? Wow, that's unique. gonna try and uh, find where to go since it doesn't sell you I would assume squadron but squadron is online so it's gonna take a little bit of playing around with the menus and everything ください。ま
最後になったら大変ですよ迷子になりかけていたのはあなたでしょはじめまして私はデイジーアファシスタイプ X です急に走ったら危ないわよデイジーちゃんと迷子ちゃんマスター私の運動に関するプログラムは規定値をクリアしていますこの程度の走行で転倒や衝突は起こしませんどうかご安心をあなたたちのような可愛い子には別の危険もあるの私のそばから離れてはダメよ承知しましたマスターあなたが迷子ちゃんのマスターさんかしらこの迷子ちゃんはうちのデイジーちゃんと同じタイプ X でしょレア中のレアジージーを噂は聞いているわ幸運でもアファシス特に本当に何も知らないのね総督府の告知はアファシスはジージー自発的に考え行動できる高度な学習型へ特にタイプ X おおさらに戦闘だけ実は Alright, apparently we're still dealing with running into NPCs. ただ、あなたの場合奪われるのが嫌なら大切なものあら素直そうそうあタイプ X とあったのはもちろんですところで舞子ちゃんマスターのお友達にはそうなのよろしくお願いしますいいわね何よりマスター以外の人に名前を
All right, so we are going to get to do that first combat quest. Thank goodness, at least. This is as far as I'm going to go for uh, tonight after this combat quest. And I'm assuming it's going to be a solo mission. So I will take myself and my clone. And I'm just saving currency for the moment. Subquests. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. Alright. Yeah, we need a lot more money. <laughs> I don't have enough credits for that. Alright, where the heck is a teleporter? This could be maddeningly unhelpful. I don't need online co-op. What I need is a quest. So that one's the one in progress. <sighs> well, that menu screen doesn't help. All right, this should work. Yep, that's what I was looking for. Remnant Wasteland, that's exactly what we needed. Eh, don't worry. Only had to do two laps around the whole governor's office to find the one item that I was looking for. Oh, I should have picked up the uh, scorpions as far as a, a quest. I'm pretty sure you can replay areas or I wonder if it'll let me let me see if I can go back and pick up the other quest otherwise I done ah, I can go back all right that's good cuz I done goofed by not picking up that needle beetle quest. Well, at least those of you that have watched to the end of this, you guys know that pick up that side quest. Otherwise, it's just a waste. Um, please tell me I can travel to the governor's office from here. No, I can't. Wow. That is lame, to say the least. Unless, can I fast travel via the map? Let's see, maybe I can fast travel via the map? Oh, thank goodness you can. Whew. All right, that just saved an exponential amount of time. So you can go to your map, you can highlight the icon as far as where you want, at least, and you can fast travel to it. Which means that access to this area to pick up quests 
for the governor's office is instead of a, I would say, two or three minute jog, um, it's just a loading screen. Definitely not bad. Nowhere's near as bad as running all the way up. Alright, let's get our quest. Alright. Can I get another quest? I'd like to take them all. Alright, good. I have all the quests. Those side quests. Now, where was that teleporter? There it is. Alright. So, we'll finish this main combat quest. I'm not going to waste currency on any kind of weapons or anything like that. Because I'm not really sure which ones I want for now. We're just going to keep what I have and finish this quest. I'm going to work to do a little bit of editing to keep the video as short as possible. I don't see a crit spot either on that thing. Alright, yeah, see, we're making quest progress on that now. So that's the way that it's intended is for you to actually pick up those side quests. Level 14? Level 14 and I'm level 2. Okay. Reload. We will be exploring a bit. I'm not entirely sure if that is the best idea or not. Um, okay. So yeah, it's basically open world. Um, that's cool. See, this is what I wanted to get to. The actual combat and the enemies and everything. That's what I really wanted to get to. Whoa. These things just materialize in front of you. These little level threes, the ones at my level, they're nothing. Like, they're super easy to take on. Those level 14s, on the other hand, not so much. Acquired damage shell. Alright. So that was a very simple quest. I have to defeat the boss. Right now the AI does more damage than I do. No items are dropping. Not that I'm entirely surprised. Oh, never mind. There's an item. Oh, crap. 
This guy's behind me. Oh no, that's a uh, scorpion that's behind me. This weapon's inaccurate as hell. Well, I mean, not horrible, but... Oh! That hurt. All they do is keep reviving each other. Well, that was different. Alright. I'm just gonna keep heading forward. Doing all right as far as health bars concerned. These bees are definitely a little on the annoying, and there's a big ass enemy up here. There's a level 28 enemy up here. Uh, should I kill it? You guys think I should kill it? I think I should kill it. We have almost 8,000 rounds of ammo. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, you're totally supposed to fight this thing that's ridiculously leveled up above you. <laughs> totally 100% supposed to do that, guys. Take out his little minions. Oh, shit. He's going to one-shot me. <laughs> Run. Okay. It can be difficult to dodge it. I gotta go revive my teammate. Oh, why is revive? I don't see a crit spot on this thing. Just trying to use the environment and my dodge ability as best as possible. We have to draw this thing away so I can do the revive. Down to almost 5,000 rounds of ammo. Oh, 
we'll see what he drops. There's got to be a crit spot on this thing too. What I wouldn't give for a shotgun, right? Get out of here, you little annoying insect. Alright, so apparently the AI will also respawn. Don't hit me. Okay, that thing's down to its final health bar. All I'm gonna say is I hope something drops some ammo. Otherwise, things are going to get very bad over here. And I grossly miss. Okay, this is not good. Uh, we might be ripskies at the moment. I can't dodge it. Yep. We're done. Uh, well, that's depressing. Total bounty, 16,550. Uh, level 2 to level 5. Well, we got a bunch of points off of that. I'm not entirely sure what that's going to do do though wish I could see inventory how much ammo do they have though Oh, I have a different weapon that I could equip. Okay. But I have like no ammo for any of these things. I want to equip that. Weapon two. Won't let me equip it though. Okay, that doesn't help. Well, let's see about buying ammo. I had like 26,000 credits before. Uh, no. Weapon shop. Bye. Ammo. Handgun ammo. How much does this cost? I'm up to 43,000 credits, so we did get more credits. We got a shit ton of credits. Um. Except 
to totally restock my handgun ammo, it's like half of the credits that we earned. Alright, now let's see as far as weapons go if there is something... I'm going to be looking for assault rifles, primarily. One hundred? This only costs one hundred to buy. Mm. Oh, it's a decorative piece. Okay, so a decorative rifle. Nah, I'm not interested in a decorative rifle. Is this a melee weapon? Yeah, it is. Close combat weapons. But it's going to cost 69,000 credits to get this base photon sword. Rocket launcher, mini guns. Snipers. And get an AK. Just looking at the weapon pictures real quick, get an idea for what I want. I think I'm going to rock the photon sword once I can afford it. I need to get something a little bit less expensive to start off with, though. So we'll probably get a handgun. I go for this night sky. Because that's a physical power of 82. Comparative to what I have at the moment. Which the weapon I have at the moment is only 36. But I already have a night sky. I just got to figure out exactly how to compare it. It's an uncommon weapon. Um, not quite as good at the crit chance. Less ammo capacity. But more damage. No option to equip it though. Uh, possibly if I up my stats. Okay, that's what it is. I gotta up my stats. Pretty sure that weapon takes dex. Let's double check that real quick. Night Sky. Yeah, it takes one strength, three dex. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade dex to three. Now we should, in theory, have enough to go ahead and equip that Night Sky as the secondary weapon. Alright. And I am going to want to equip this Assault Rifle later, which is a 61 damage. It's less damage than the Night Sky, but it requires 4 strength, 7 dex. So we'll worry about that. A little bit later uh, let's see ammunition this is gonna be the high-speed bullet and in order to max out my stock on that we're gonna need roughly 33,600 credits uh, so we definitely need we need some more credits as far as that's concerned this is gonna be something that takes a little while, a little bit of farming to do. Um, I'll buy 10 stacks worth. Uh, go to the teleporter over here and let's see if we can't do a little bit of killing. So looks like I kept my items. I kept my XP and everything. No real loss as far as a death penalty goes 
merely just the setback in all of the enemies that you had killed, well, you have to kill again. Alright. So this is the new weapon that I got. It's a semi-automatic, but as you can see, a lot higher damage per shot. Much higher damage per shot. Alright, so yeah, we're going to be stuck using handguns for a little while. I need to earn XP, level up my stats. I'm just going to go back and try and hit that. I'm not even going to try and hit that boss, though. Um, not until we have more credits. I need to maximize the amount of ammo that I can have. If I max out the amount of ammo that I have before going in, we'll be doing a lot better. Because see, these level 13s, they don't do shit now. I really should grab a photon sword, though. Got an unappraised item as well. Oh, we got some level 10 beetles up here. Yeah, I'm not going to finish the actual quest. I should have restocked ammo first, but I was being a little bit uh, like, eh, let me let me save. Let me save some money here, save some credits, and just go for the weapon. So what I'm going to do um, for my stream playthrough, I'm actually going to farm up some credits. I'm going to grab a photon sword and see if that actually requires any type of charge slash ammo count. If it does not, then we're going to keep that as a secondary weapon. I was initially thinking sniper and pistol combo, seeing as these enemies don't really aggro on the AI companions with me. Um, I'm thinking the sniper would only really come into play in co-op missions per se. Uh, and I can't go through there yet apparently. And these guys have respawned. I tried to hit that guy with my uh, fiber weapon. Needless to say, I was not successful. Even though I literally just got started in this, it's actually a quite fun game. I haven't even begun to consider what I can do with equipping weapons to my companions, gear, armor, all of that stuff. But right now, I'm overleveled for this. So, because I'm overleveled, uh, let's get rid of that, that sniper if at all possible. Sniper! Uh, Come on. Can I get some hits, please? There we go. Alright, now those were level 3 players, if you guys remember correctly from like a minute ago, but instead of being level three players now, they're 
level six players. Really unsure about why their level just increased. That's a level 10 elite. Okay, we need to switch and bring down this enemy player. There we go. Both of the enemy players are taken care of. Which, they're not actual players, I don't think. I'm pretty sure they're just, like, AI. They're AI that's specced as a, oh, this is an enemy player. So the important thing that I wanted to check is the level of the boss. Yeah, the level of the boss is the same. It was a level 28. It still is a level 28. I have two weapons, higher skill and more damage. We're going to try and take that down. And for some reason, my companion's using a rocket launcher. Um, okay. Too bad she didn't use that earlier. God, that attack almost one-shots me. I'm eliminating the minions so we don't get trapped on them. Damage per shot, roughly the same. So the difference is I have a shit ton more ammo. Since I have a shit ton more ammo this time, I should be able to actually take this thing down. And one of the players of my party is using a rocket launcher, which that's helping a great deal. All right, we're going to use a live ammo weapon. Yeah, because that handgun's doing 90 damage a shot now. Difficult to hit that scorpion's crit spot. Yeah, because I'm only doing like 75, 80 damage per shot without hitting whatever its crit spot is. Oh, come on. I wanted to go for the revive, not bring giant scorpion ass dude over here. I really wish the regular little scorpions would not continue to respawn while we're fighting this big dude. Oh yeah, 
He just took a couple of those rocket launcher rounds now. That did a good amount of damage. They do aggro more on uh, the AI in your party, which is kind of a good thing. I will not die to this scorpion today. He got me once because I had no bullets. He will not get me again. And thanks to his little minions, we're getting a shit ton of XP. But thanks to his little minions, I'm one shot now. And wasting a lot of munitions on little minions. I haven't figured out the healing thing perfectly just yet. I'm using that second pistol that I got. It's semi-automatic, so it's a little annoying, but it does hit a hell of a lot harder. And it makes a little less noise. I would recommend anybody who's playing on a wireless controller go in to the settings and probably reduce the vibration settings because it's like every single shot vibrates the hell out of your controller. Both of these things are going to come after me now. And the auto-targeting swaps between them, which is not good. Uh, we got an achievement. Uniquely dead. Defeat your first unique enemy. Alright, always nice to get a achievement in the first video of a game. We definitely have got to work on uh, gameplay and getting ammo. There's going to be a lot of farming involved. Like, go into an area, fight the unique enemy when you have full ammo. Because, see, I don't have full ammo now, so going after these guys may not be the best choice. But we are completing the little quests. So, we're going to have a few more unlocks, a few more weapons and things to choose from. Alright, we got a fast travel point. Now see, this guy's only a level 10. Uh, he's not as easy though, because, well, 
he's got a ranged weapon. So I'm not going to be able to just run away from him. And he's running around pissing off the other little bees, which I can't target fast enough. I'll admit, he's smart as far as a uh, AI enemy is concerned, because he's making us deal with these other creatures as he just runs around and avoids the majority of our damage. Oh, crit spot is on his head. That's good. Yeah, see, he was a lot easier to deal with. Rare metal, SPB rapier. Um, this is probably a fast travel point right here. Yep, this is a fast travel point. This is actually specifically the quest dungeon. So all of that that I did was 100% unnecessary. Uh, we will move to the dungeon because like I said, I did want to complete that quest. So literally we fought... Uh, a level 28 enemy just goes to show you can do it now I have no clue how many credits I'm gonna get hopefully we get a lot of credits from this because yeah I had like 50,000 credits invested in ammo alone I am a little bit higher level than what I was before so I don't have any skills unlocked just yet, so I'm doing everything with ammo. Some of these enemies are dropping ammo as well. I can see acquired high speed bullets and things of that nature. Uh, that's good. Oh, almost forgot. I got to use that tool to get up here. Whoa. Okay. Not gonna lie, that grenade hurt. Alright, I have not seen any treasure chests yet. And that's an ammo restock station. We'll take that. Uh, can I do anything with this? Nope. HP restored. Let's go. Boss room? Uh, no. I just got sniped. Oh, 
Alright, we have got to bring those things down. I can handle the regular guys. Okay, we'll just kill it. I was trying to like grab it and uh, apparently that's not a thing that you can do. Alright. Uh, both AIs are down, though. I'm gonna try just teleporting back to the start. Yep. I don't know if that'll do anything or not. Uh, looks like, nope. I have to actually go and revive them manually. Alright. That's all right, though. Get your lazy ass back up. See, like I said, kind of wish that um, I had the ability to change it to English simply because of the fact that I don't speak Japanese. Oh my, that hurt. Level 12 Berserker. So this is actually supposed to be your very first unique enemy, but I'm finding I don't really aim down the sights that much. The whole auto-targeting is almost more useful than aiming down your sights, which is weird, but I mean, I'm not going to argue with it too much. I can say I wish I just had taken a little bit more ammo in the beginning. I could have saved myself so much time, but at least we established that there isn't much of a loss. Oh, I am about to be dead if that keeps up. Uh, best go ahead and get this revive. If there was a way to ensure uh, that this enemy would target your AI, I think sniper rifles would be incredibly useful. But because there's no way to really ensure that he targets the AI, it could be uh, detrimental since this is all relatively close range combat. And I'm down. Oh, come on. Oh, they killed it. Excuse me. Alright, come on, show me the loot. Really? No loot? Just a teleporter?
Alright, so this is literally just return home. Well, let's make our way out of here. Unless I can... Unless I can fast travel. Oh, world map. No, I can't fast travel out. Can I fast travel there? Nope, I can't. Alright. We're gonna do this then. We're gonna make a sprint for the door. I'm sure probably later on, um, maybe, I don't know, I doubt there's mounts. We'll see, though. I'm just going to slowly make my way to the door. I wouldn't think that the enemies would respawn. It's the only thing that's a little annoying. Great for farming XP. Annoying for just trying to get from point A to point B. All right, let's see how much we got now. Total bounty, 74,625. Um, okay. Uh, total bounty earned exceeds 25,000 credits. You got 12,500 credits. Uh... Okay. Congratulations, your total bounty earned exceeds 50,000 credits. You got 25,000 credits. <laughs> SP30. Alright, so we went from level 5 to level 10. Other NPC went from 18 to 22. 5 to 10. Okay, alright. So see, you get a crap ton for just going in, leveling up like that, going through that mission. Let's see how many total credits I actually got to keep, though. Because keep in mind, almost our whole budget was spent on ammo. And I do have ammo left, but at the same time, I don't have a lot of ammo left. Um, office... I want to go right. I wish I could go in to the office. Because it puts you at a loading screen to get to the front door of the office. And you get a loading screen going in to the office. It's still faster than running up here. But it's inconvenient to say the least. See, I should be able to skip this loading screen and go straight into the governor's office. Now, there might be a way to actually do that, but if it is, I'm not familiar with it. So, as far as quest lists, you can see all of these are completed now. Uh, now, the interesting thing about it is, if I can get out of this menu with my companion, Come on, let me out. I want to use the terminal. I can reselect these for some reason. Even though I've completed them, I can reselect them. Not entirely sure why. But uh, main thing is weapon shop. 
Uh, we have 105,000 credits. So since we have 105,000 credits, even though as far as ammunition goes, we did spend quite a bit here. Uh, let's see. That's 8,000 credits to resupply that handgun. Uh, to resupply this handgun, 29,000 credits. All right. That's really not that bad. Cost of ammunition spent to top off ammo for both weapons, 29,600 credits. And I'm sitting at 105,000 credits. Granted, I did complete the quest, but uh, it's definitely worth it. They, they made it to where you can kill the enemies. As long as you kill the enemies, you're going to make more credits than the cost of ammunition. So that's, that's definitely worth it. Uh, we'll okay that purchase. Um, not really looking at jackets at the moment. Cosmetic items, 1,500,000 credits. A woman's swimsuit. Uh, okay, then, game. Legendary. Oh, these are just, um, these are the downloadable, like, ones. Okay, that's, that's cool. Uh, we'll buy it because it's only a hundred credits and then see if I can equip it items okay I can't equip it from that screen let's try this screen yeah there we go the original, like, uh, Kirito outfit. Accessories. Eye patch. Alright, so these actually have effects on them. Uh, melee damage increase, explosive defense. Looks weird, but. Eh. Blaze, physical. Blaze damage. Defense versus max. Oh, that looks ugly as hell, so we just won't do that. Physical defense. Eh, sure, we'll take an eye patch. Why not? And can I get a different weapon? Oh, yeah, we have a lot of different weapons right here. So there's going to be, here's the same AR, right? Midu type AR, same, same weapon system, right? Two different ones. They look the same. Description is exactly the same, but stats are completely different. So this first one that I found has 61 power, right? The same weight and everything, but the power is different. That one's 61 power plus... It's got physical attack of 5.92%. Now, I'm thinking that's why the physical power is higher. This one has a lower physical power, but damage from behind. So this one's the one that's going to get sold. Um, this rapier. Uh, bullet circle accuracy. Did we just get a photon sword? Ammo acquired plus 31%. We just got a photon sword, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, three strength, one dex is what's required for me to wield that weapon. So I need to up my strength to three. Wow, you can put a uh, decent amount of points in there. All right. Good to know. Now, if I go down to equipment, I'm going to get rid of the semi-automatic pistol. We're going to put on this weapon because it's a melee damage weapon. 
It's got higher trade value, higher damage versus mechs, damage versus life forms, higher XP, and ammo acquisition. So that's pretty good. As far as items go, I think we can... Can we mess with stats? Uh, no. Okay. Can I mess with this guy's stats? Ah, yes, you can. We can actually mess with the stats of your companion. Uh, you can mess with his skills. Wow, there are a ton of skills. Alright, so he has healing bullet. I can't upgrade it. I can't buy it. Alright, well that's cool. There's, wow, holy hell, there's a lot. All right, guys, there is a lot of skills here for your companion. Sharp nail. All right, that's a lot of, a lot. Gadgets, uh, he doesn't have any gadgets, equipment. Okay, so you can change accessories on them as well all your gear and everything all right well that's really cool um all your weapons assuming that they have the stats i guess to wield it Let me give him this one right here. Bullet circle accuracy. Uh, four strength and seven dex. Just upgrade him four strength and seven on dex. I wonder what the max points you can have is. I don't know. I have no idea what the max is that you can have. But I'm going to give him this weapon, this assault rifle. This way he does a little more damage. And then we can sell weapons. I don't want to sell any ammo. I have no idea what unappraised items are or how to appraise them, but we will deal with that a little bit later. Uh, unappraised assault rifle. No, we want to sell that. It's 3,000 credits for that. And I'll just hold on to the rest of the items until we figure out exactly how to uh, appraise them and all of that stuff. But I'll do that in a separate video. That's basically all of Quest 1. I have a Photon Sword now, which was a pretty lucky drop. So that saved 60,000 credits. I still have about... 60,000 credits remaining, and that's with full handgun ammo. Um, but yeah, this character was just, just for fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed the game. Um, I'm enjoying, I should say, the game. Tutorial is a little long though, so just keep that in mind. You're going to be spending like 45 minutes in there, even if you just smash the A button to skip over everything as fast as possible. And the second time you come to character creation, it is not your character, your avatar, it is actually the companions. So if you want to change it up and don't make it so that you have a, literally an evil clone following you around, you might want to do that. But uh, yeah, we'll be making another character to go through a stream playthrough. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave a comment. And uh, let me know what you think, what you'd like to see for other videos, or if you want to check out the stream. All of my social media links will be in the description. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. 
And uh, if you did, make sure you smash the like button as well as subscribe for more content. So until next time, stay frosty.